Hi, we're here with Mammal Science News, and today we're going to ask these kids some questions. Come on. Excuse me, kids. Do you know what a mammal is? Yes. No, I'm the smart one around here. So no, she is. Tell me. me. No, tell me. me. Let me die. I get to do it. They evidently didn't know anything. Let's ask this lady. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi, I'm here with Mammal Science News. We're asking people if they know what a mammal is. Yes. Well, let me see. It's a creature with two humps. One, three. I can't remember. We're here with Mammal Science News at Howe Avenue Elementary School trying to find out if anyone knows about mammals. Does anyone know what a mammal is? Yes, Jeremy? A mammal is a creature that has some fur or hair, is warm-blooded, and bears their young live and then feeds it milk. Do you know anything else? Well, sure. Mammals are really great. Like, did you know there's a creature called a platypus that lives in Australia and Tasmania? It has webbed feet, a tail like a beaver, and a bill like a duck's. Pretty weird, huh? Did you know that all mammals birth live young, except the platypus, which is a special type of mammal called a monotree? The platypus lays eggs. Then the platypus sits on or curls up around the eggs for about 10 days. When the babies are born, they drink milk secreted from the glands on the mother's chest and tummy. Mother mammals have mammary glands that produce milk for the young. The milk is their baby's food. The milk contains water, fats, proteins, calcium, lactose, a milk sugar, salts, minerals, vitamins, and hormones. Usually, the colder the environment is, the more fat content there is in the milk. A seal's milk is a good example of this. Some gorillas drink their mother's milk until they are around two years old, and the rhinoceros nurses until it is about 15 months old. The mother gives milk with a set of nibbles, or series. Like these pigs, 12 breasts are common for them. The mother mammal has a womb where the baby grows. After a certain amount of time, called a gestation period, the baby is born. Humans have a nine month gestation period. Mice have pretty short gestation periods, about 16 to 20 days. Elephants take about 20 months before they are born. Yikes! The mother's womb has something called placenta lining the womb, supplying the young with food and oxygen until birth. Some newborns are helpless and have to stay with their mother for a while. Some, like this calf, can stand up almost right away. Not all mammals are born like this. The marsupial family, which includes kangaroos, opossum, and koalas, has a special pocket type opening in the front of their body, sometimes called a pouch. The scientific name for it is the marsupium. The tiny newborn stay inside the pouch, nursing on the mother's milk. The pouch will carry them around and protect them until they are mature enough to be out on their own. This baby kangaroo is called a joey, and it seems almost ready to leave its mother's pouch. Don't you think mammals are really great? You know, you are a mammal too. Mammals are warm-blooded. If your body is between 98.6 degrees to 106 degrees and is self-regulated, then your body is running at a typical mammal temperature. Some mammals keep cool through panting, some by sweating. The elephant fans its great big ears to help cool down. Some mammals have thick outer coverings to keep warm. The sea otter has the densest 
fur of any mammal. The fur keeps it warm in the cold sea. Dolphins and whales are mammals, but they have hardly any hair on them. The colors and markings on a mammal can help disguise it from enemy. It's called camouflage. The animal becomes less visible because of its stripes, dots, or color. The hairy covering on some mammals is used as a weapon or protection. This hedgehog has quills that poke into an attacker's skin. Some mammals' bodies actually have spines on them. The spines are on their bodies for protection. This mammal comes from North Africa. He lives in burrows under the ground. If he came out of his burrow and someone wanted to eat him for dinner, he could curl up in a little tiny ball and then no one would bother him. The hedgehog does have quills on his body, but his quills don't come out. He can move his body around and he can move those quills. He has little muscles that if something comes close to him, he can move his quills over in that area to keep a predator away from him. The hair on these animals' faces is called whiskers. The whiskers help the animal to sense what is around them. Bats use echolocation to sense where they are, like my friend Vicky at the zoo. She's batty about bats. Bats are very special mammals. They're the only mammal that can fly. A lot of people think they're birds, but to be a bird, you have feathers. Mammals have fur, and as you can see, his little body has a lot of fur on it. He doesn't have fur on his wings. That would be much too heavy, and he wouldn't be able to fly. Bats are nocturnal. That means they come out at night. Most people think bats only live in caves, but they can live in lots of different places. They can live in our eaves, under bridges, any place where they can sneak into a nice tight spot where they can stay warm during the day. People tell lots of stories about bats. People say bats get stuck in your hair. Have you ever seen a person with a bat stuck in their hair? People also say when they're in the swimming pool that bats come down and they're dive bombing them. But you know what? Bats have to drink a lot of water. It's very important when you fly that you drink a lot of water. So if you're in the water and a bat comes near you, he's just getting a drink. Not only do bats have webs on their wings, but some bats actually have webs on their tails. And a lot of bats will use that webbed area to catch their food. Do you know how you use a catcher's mitt to catch a ball? A bat can use the web on the back of his tail the same way. And once he catches an insect down in that web spot, he can flip it up into his mouth. And that's how he can get his tasty meal. Some people think that all bats are vampires. But of that thousand different kinds of bats, only three of them are vampires. They don't live near us here in the United States. They live far away in Central America and South America. And vampires, they don't suck your blood. They do have blood for their meal, but what they do is they make a small little bite, and as that little wound bleeds, the bats lap it up. Some people think only bees pollinate fruit. But bats are sometimes called the forgotten pollinators. There are many foods that are pollinated by bats, like cashews and carob and papayas and mangoes and all of those really great spices that go in pumpkin pie. Those are all pollinated by bats. And even bananas. So the next time you have breakfast and have a banana in your cereal, you can thank a bat for pollinating that fruit for you. Most mammals have a great sense of smell. The elephant's long trunk is like a nose, and a straw, and a hand, all in one. An adult elephant may have a trunk that is seven feet long. They use their trunks to squirt water or drink. 
They breathe air through it if they go underwater. And sometimes they use them to smell a friend. Some mammals have no sense of smell, like whales. Most mammals have scent glands that mark a family member or territory. Some use their scent as a weapon. P.U. Most mammals have eyes that focus forward called binocular vision. Primates, which include monkeys, apes, gorillas, and humans, are able to see in color. Mammals that live in the water typically have eyes on either side of their head, allowing them to see in many directions at once. Mammals have ears that contain three middle bones. The outer ear can move. These mammals hear sound from far away and tune in by turning their ear toward the sound. Mammals have large lung capacity due to the diaphragm expanding the lungs in every breath. Even mammals that are underwater most of the time come up to the surface to breathe air. like seals. Manatees. Dolphins. And the whales. Speaking of whales, mammals come in all different sizes, from the tiny shrew to the blue whale, which is the largest creature in the world today at over 109 feet long and weighing 200 tons. Mammals have a backbone, or vertebrae. The vertebrae protects the spinal cord and helps support the body. They also have a cranium, a hard bone casing, that surrounds their brain. Mammals are pretty smart. Primates, dolphins, and whales are said to be the smartest. Some mammals have bones in their heads called horns, and some have antlers. The difference is that horns are slow growing, permanent bone. The rhino's horn isn't really even a true horn. It's densely packed hair fibers. Antlers are bone material that grow really fast. There is a furry covering on the antlers called velvet that sheds each year as the antlers grow. Horns and antlers are often used for defense. The types of food mammals eat varies. Some are carnivores, meaning that they eat meat. Some are herbivores. That's what plant eaters are called. Some are omnivores. They eat both. Bats, moles, and shrews are insectivores. Can you guess what that means? Right, they eat insects. Hedgehogs are insectivores. That means that they're very beneficial. They go through the grass or under the ground looking for insects. They love to gobble up insects. Males have different types of teeth. Incisors are for piercing food. Canine teeth are for tearing. They cut the meat like scissors. Molars are for grinding. This giraffe grinds his food by moving his mouth from side to side. Tusks adorn some mammals like the elephant and the walrus. 
They use them as digging tools or weapons. Rodents and lagomorphs, like rabbits, have long teeth that never stop growing. They have to continually chew on hard materials to keep their teeth from getting too long. Platypus eats snail, crayfish, worms, and insects from the bottom of the water. Some whales use something called a baleen. It's like a soft plate that lines the mouth of the whale. It allows it to strain the water out while keeping its food plankton in. The koala chews eucalyptus leaves with its tiny teeth and the human. Well, they can eat almost anything. Some mammals have claws like the cat family. They have retractable claws. These bears have claws that are exposed all of the time. These horses have hooves, a hard bony covering over their toes. All hoofed creatures belong to a group of mammals known as ungulates. Ungulates have either two, three, or four toes. Primates have sensitive fingers and toes, and a special feature, an opposable thumb, a thumb that can rotate in a unique way. <laughs> Mammals move around in different ways. A monkey swings from tree to tree with its hands, feet, and tail. A bat can fly. A dolphin swims using his tail to steer. Squirrels scamper about. A kangaroo jumps or hops from place to place. And kids, well, you know how we get around. <laughs> the fastest mammal is the cheetah. It's clocked at over 60 miles per hour for 300 yards. Giraffes are considered the tallest land mammal, about 19 feet tall. Their tongue can reach out over 12 inches to get to the leaves and branches they love to eat. The manatee is a gentle, large mammal, about 8 to 15 feet long and weighing 400 to 1,300 pounds. It is sometimes called a sea cow. It lives in shallow tropical waters and eats lots of water plants. These beautiful creatures are one of the oldest known mammals. Jeremy knew a lot about mammals. What are the main things that we should remember? Mammals are warm-blooded. Oh. They have fur or hair. Wow. Mammals have backbones and hard heads. Gee. Using their diaphragms, they breathe air with large lungs. Oh. Mammals have milk and feed their young. This is Mammal Science News saying bye-bye. Oh, I remember that camel ride like it was yesterday. Or was it last year? Well, it was when I was married to Larry, or was it Harry? Oh, that's it. Now, what was I saying?